Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Langley with Pine Ridge Family Medicine, and uh, I'm back from maternity leave. I had my baby. It was a, a wonderful delivery. went safely for me and him, and uh, now I have a new baby, Thomas, at home, and I'm even back at work now. I had my maternity leave. I'm very generous and wonderful to be able to take that, and uh, I was kind of nervous about coming back to work, but this is such a great clinic, and it feels like a second home in a lot of ways. So when I'm here, I'm really happy to be here, and when I'm home, I'm really happy to be home, and I think that's a great place to be. But that's not what we're here for today. One of the benefits that they don't talk about of becoming a doctor is that when you go through medical school and residency, you make a lot of doctor friends. No surprise there. And what a wonderful thing to have friends, especially in the, the days of social media and texting and cell phones, that I have this huge group of doctors of all different walks of life and shapes and sizes and specialties that I can text when I have a question, that I can send a photo, that I can, I even belong to, to big groups on Facebook, on social media of all physicians where you can just send out a question and have lots of people weigh in on it and give you their opinions. It's a pretty fabulous place to be because I can get lots of medical opinions and, and if I have uh, my family is throwing up on Christmas Eve and I need a prescription to help with that vomiting and help put a, an end to that vomiting before we have to all go to the ER for IV fluids, I can message a colleague who's my doctor and uh, happen to have that prescription send right over very promptly and it's a fabulous place to be. So wouldn't that be lovely for everyone to have, not just people who went to medical school and residency, to have someone they can rely on in a crunch to help them with medical things, to help them with an urgent prescription. If they just completely ran out of their prescription that they need on a regular basis and they had a way to reach their doctor. So often when you try to reach your doctor, you have to speak, stay on hold, go through the phone tree and press all the right buttons and then stay on hold for a while to try to reach someone who will actually help you and then talk with a couple other people first who aren't actually going to help you and then keep your fingers crossed that they're actually going to get that message to your doctor and have that prescription placed at the pharmacy in a reasonable amount of time. That's rough. I don't have to go through that because I've got doctors as friends but what if you had a doctor who was a friend too? That's kind of how I think of direct primary care sometimes, is all of my patients have a phone number that they can text me at. They have an email address that I check at least every couple days, if not every day. And so they can ask me for last minute prescriptions, hopefully not too often, but especially when it's an urgent, when everyone is throwing up on Christmas Eve, I've been there, and it's been a lifesaver to be able to get that help when I need it. And, uh, I mean, what if you just have a random medical question in the middle of the night, Googling is not helping. It's nice to be able to write an email to your doctor and say, you know, I have this symptom. It's kind of, it's not really bothering me, but what do you think? Is this something that I should be coming and be seen for? Is this something we need to get an ultrasound of? Is this need to, something I need to start medicine for? Something that's not urgent, something that you just was, were wondering, and when they get a chance, they can write back to you. That's what my patients have. And so that's why I urge you to find yourself a doctor friend. Find yourself a direct primary care doctor who has time to see you, who has time and only a few patients that they have time for that. Because so many doctors out there have thousands of patients that they're in charge of. You know, the max I'm going to go to is 600. I'm not there yet, but 600 patients is the very most that I'm going to consider taking on. That gives me plenty of time to address each of their needs. I don't feel overwhelmed on nights and weekends when I get text messages or urgent calls on our after hours number. I don't get them that often. One, because my patients have been with me for a little while and understand what's urgent and what can wait till morning. And two, because I don't have that many patients. So even if a lot of them have urgent needs, it doesn't get too overwhelming. So don't put up with the health care that, that is becoming standard. It's, it's sad that it's that way. And instead, find yourself a doctor friend. Thanks for listening to my little spiel here about the value of direct primary care. If you're interested in finding out more about direct primary care, check out that video. And please uh, hit the subscribe button for my channel so you can find out about more about direct primary care and other health worries that you might have. Thanks for watching.